Stop the presses, gang. Got a special announcement. The Middle Class Famous Tour is in full effect. Get your tickies. Me, the bald one, the long hair. We're coming to a city near you. Mm -hmm. Bring the squad out. It's a great way to introduce people to the show. You get to see some stand-up. You get to play a little AYG with me and the Gipperino. It's a good time. Hit me up. Yeah, guys. We're going to be in Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, Roseman. Guys, it's a great time. Can't wait to see you out there. Get your tickies now. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there. And welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out they're going to be classy. Yeah. Or they're just a big old piece of trash. You don't say. I'm your host, Stage Fully, coming at you on a beautiful day down here at Antony's basement. Just realized I forgot the right one. My co host <laughs> is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman. He's my best pal in the whole world and I love him. Give it up for KJ, Kevin. Picky Smalls, James Ryan. <laughs> All right. That, now, that was the first funny toady I've ever heard. Uh, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are cooking. I forgot to bonus and have a mic this episode. Uh, and then, obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com. Are you garbage? God damn. Sign up. You get bonus episodes, bonus live streams, a whole nother podcast. Check it out. Love that money. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinary. Even though he doesn't have a mic, we love him to death. Mm -hmm. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen. Come on. There you go. Round of applause. He gives up his mic because, gang, we have two incredibly special guests here with us today. They've both been on the show before. We love them. Mm -hmm. You love them. They have a brand new special out right now called Our Special Day. They are the hosts and the brains behind Guys We Fucked. Give it up for Corinne Fisher and Christina Hutchinson, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Ooh, I'm scared oh, I was going to blow that. I, in here. I know. Uh -oh. You're just like Jackie Kennedy. I don't know what the... I knew there was going to be a comment about this, sir. <laughs> I, I feel like I should it. be giving you cucumber sandwiches right now. I, I would love one. one. <laughs> yeah. Hutch keeps it real. That's She's got holes in her tea. shirt. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny, because we were just saying that we were talking about the card store. I was saying how cool it is yes. that you're doing that. Meanwhile, Hutch is uh, sleep eating or whatever the hell's going on. <laughs> Have uh -huh. you seen those videos? Uh, I've seen I've seen some Instagram posts. Yeah, Tell yeah, me yeah, that's yeah. A, you're you're doing that without knowing it. I do it without knowing it. I get up in the middle of the night as if I smelled smoke and I dart to the kitchen. I don't remember until the next day because the next day I'll wake up. And I'll, if you look at my counter, it looks normal. And then as you approach, you see spoons in the sink that have peanut butter on them that I've been licking. And then oftentimes you'll see a peanut butter jar still open in the sink. Dude, it's wow. like a real throwdown. She's eating all vinegar. different kinds of shit. Oh, That'd be like God. beef jerky on the counter. Uh -huh. The only thing that saves you, it's all classy stuff. It looks like all Trader Joe's stuff. <laughs> but still, dude, that's crazy. Any, anything in the sleep is garbage. I oh. like that Trader Joe's is classy to you. Because yeah. when you said that, I was like, ew. <laughs> He's more of a key food. <laughs> kind of guy. <laughs> I like my sushi a week old. Or thank Aldo. You. Oh, Aldi, oh, Aldi, 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 Aldi. Oh, cool. Aldo's the shoes. You got to bring the uh, the cart back for a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, congratulations on the special. This is absolutely fucking fantastic. Thank hey. you. Val Valentine's Day, it came out. Yep. And what is the significance of Valentine's Day? What's the story here? Just relationship. You know, rela it's on brand. Relationship podcast, relationship dead. We didn't put much, you know. It was supposed to come out on Christmas, honestly. And, and then, COVID ruined that. And so COVID. we're like, all right, Valentine's Day. Which reminds Day. me. Yeah. <laughs> You got COVID? That was very Byron Allen. <laughs> I know. I don't know why I said it like that. We got you two Valentine's Day gifts. Oh, that's very nice. Conversation hearts. Thank, Thank you. And I got them at a Wawa. Yeah. Wow, you did. I love conversation hearts. Oh, me too. They're, they're, they're literally awesome. I they're love so Valentine's Day. Sweet Tarts has taken them over, I think. <gasps> what? Right? That's Aren't a different they sweethearts? Flavor. Well, they I mean these are different. They're different. These yeah. are the these no, are those the are the Nico ones. Those are the originals. Exactly. I thought I got the, the sweet chalky, one. the chalky yeah. ones. Those yeah. are the best. The one with yeah. like the Nico wafers. They were fucking. Yeah, bad I when we like were kids. those. Mm, these are Thank nice. You. Thank you. This is very nice. Of Do you, you guys like of Valentine's course. Day? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I like no, chocolate. Uh, <laughs> we can see that. <laughs> <laughs> my kind of podcast. <laughs> Give my Let's goddamn candy a back. More times. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they would have sweet tarts on. When I think of Valentine's Day, I go back to being a little kid. 
And who got uh, Valentine? This is going to get sad. This could, be good or, this could be very good or very bad. I'm so stressed He's, out he, already. You started therapy recently, so you're in for a bumpy ride, girl. Oh, really? I'm so happy for you, Foley. We had a whole ass quit last week, too, by Wait, the way. Wait, what? Hey, what are you telling her? Cutting that. No. You quit? I, I, yeah, I quit. <laughs> How many sessions he's such, did you he's go such to? A, he's such a liar. He's like, no, no, no. Yeah, I quit. Uh, Wait, how many sessions did you go to? I went to two and I switched over to Sprite. Things are going pretty good. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Foley. No, I went, I went since October. I feel like I got a really good handle on... Uh, since October? I'm telling you. <laughs> I think I got a really good handle on my, situ- my situation. My situation. I got a really ha- good handle is a toxic statement. That's yes. how all toxic Foley. statements Foley. are. I'm, I'm, Foley. I'm relaxing on this one. You got it. Get em, you girls. got it. <laughs> This is bullshit. Oh Tebow, you can turn my mic that's off. That's the equivalent. That's the equivalent of he only Jesus. hits me when I'm drunk. When he's drunk, yeah. you gotta keep going, my yeah. friend. Yeah. Listen, oh, this is what I'm gonna say. All right. Now I've been working out with a trainer since December. Yeah. Okay. okay. Proud of you. And 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 you didn't quit. No. Not, okay. I'm not quitting that. Okay. okay. And I'm not quitting that because obviously I know I still have a long way to go with that. But with the <laughs> therapy. I realized through through therapy, through work, through working really hard on it for a few months, is that a lot of the stuff I was just overthinking and is and is and is in my head in a way, and they're not like real real situations. And she taught me how to address those things. I'm Are a, you having hallucinations? What do you mean they're real, not real situations? You know, like the, the, a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you. Know I, wasn't guys, but, uh, I wasn't prepared to talk about this. Nuts. That, this is more of a Patreon vibe. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. www.patreon.com. My mom just dropped a around. raisin bran watching this. What the fuck, man? I got to see these people in real life. <laughs> I've been going bowling cool. for the last two weeks every day. That's kind of like therapy. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's very Jersey. No, of I, I, feel like, I feel like I did it to where I needed it. And <laughs> that is insane. Why was that insane? You only went a couple months. You've lived a whole life. It wasn't a couple months. October, November, December, January. I went that's four, four months. That's a couple of, of that's months. That's a cu- the couple. Two's a couple of months. Now we're doing this? What am I? What are we on? Crazy see, pills? Yeah. A couple's two. We all know that. Okay. Toby, say something. <laughs> you seem. You Go seem, to commercial. You seem. <laughs> See how flustered he's got? Yeah. Where's, those, where's those goddamn Helix mattresses when you need your them? Your relationship with attachments has gone nowhere, though. Like you're, what do you mean? <laughs> you're getting stuck on shit. I just think you got to go back to therapy. You, That's a rookie. Four months. Four months, you're not even cracking the surface. Is it? Your and toes be honest, in the water. Be honest. Are you scared of what you're going to find out? No, I'm honestly not scared. He figured it all out. I don't know if you picked up but on you, that. <laughs> it's all done. But I said that two minutes ago. He did my ago. life, too. He moves quick, this guy. I'm all healed. The therapist retired. <laughs> my whole family. Two weeks, we'll get you two cleaned up. My whole family is completely normal now. I'm telling you. It's I've all never good. witnessed anybody so speedy with therapy. I mean, I think there's a lot of people that go for a little while and then. <laughs> yeah, they're called crazy people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're called, I don't want to know what's in the box. Yeah. Why are you staring at me like that? Wait, okay. Oh, did you go on your own free will or did your fiance make you go? That wasn't court appointed. What the <laughs> fuck? Well, a lot of times it's the uh, it was woman. Fat court. It was oh, fat yeah, I court it was. appointed. I, we they do, started to put the screws to me a we, little bit. We do fat court on the Patreon. <laughs> uh, fat which is, court? What's we got that? him. Well, we got him. You know, we're trying to get him to lose weight. Now that, right. now that this thing's cooking, I need a pay. Yeah. Okay. Right. 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 I can't have him. Those key payments don't pay themselves. (laughs) Got it. Um. So I got him. We got him with a trainer. We got him on like you know a diet, somewhat. You know. uh, But I wanted to do these things. Good. 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 I found the therapist myself. I stuck it out and found it stuff like that. I was motivated to go. And I'm telling you, I went in there with everything. Now, now let me ask you this. I told her everything. How did you tell her? Hey, that's a wrap. Uh, this was just a couple days ago. But what like, was how her, did you do it? Yeah, what did you say to her? What was her reaction? How'd you break up with your therapist? <laughs> you dumb bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you listen, never loved me. Listen, I think we should see other you didn't people. Mean anything he said. <laughs> um, no, I just said, "Hey, uh, you know, with my schedule and stuff like that." Oh god! I, <laughs> <laughs> can't win over here. No matter what I say, I'm going to be wrong. I'm telling you That's guys. That's why you got to go back to therapy. I feel good. <laughs> I, I'm I'm using the the tools that I've th- that that taught me there and applying it to my life and moving forward with the working out and stuff like that. Right. Because that has even started to make me feel better. Well, a physical fitness goal that, that's is what monumental. I mean. mm-hmm. Yeah. A physical fitness goal is really monumental because it is it is a direct metaphor for like progress for bettering yourself. Sure. Of course. The results unfold. So when I say to you guys that a lot a lot of the stuff was in my head, all right, a lot of it was like things that that I, you know, 
I was I was feeling sorry for myself and making it worse than it was. And I don't really right. have as many problems as I thought I did. I just needed to start moving forward and, and stop being lazy. Okay. I, I appreciate right. that feedback, that? though, because that should be isolated and sent out to a lot of people on yeah, the internet. Mostly men, yeah. So There you go. Uh, a lot of women, too, honestly. Just a lot of people in general. There yeah. you go. So that's why. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know I was going to be called at it on the show. What face did your therapist make when you uh, told her that you were quitting? Did well, she laugh? Like, she didn't send me an emoji back. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, you texted oh, her. I yeah, I texted her. Oh, so you text messaged her. If you would have said that on Zoom, what I got to fucking take her out to dinner? She's my you therapist. You know what you would have heard? You know what you would have heard? You would have heard her go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm sure she has her opinions on it. All right. Which, which are completely valid, and I understand. This <laughs> <laughs> you suck, Toby. I like how I'm not the bad guy anymore. I can I can throw my feet up on this one. I'm typically the guy screaming at him. This is great. I wanted to talk about Valentine's Day. <laughs> we can, yeah. Okay, we can talk about Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. What's your therapist doing for Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with holes. I said, if you know, if I feel the need that I that I need to go back, you know, I'll, I'll be the first one to reach out, which yeah. I will. Yeah, yeah. Which Good. I will. If your Good. schedule clears up, yeah. yeah. I believe schedule it. Schedule clears up. <laughs> I mean, he's got to be. He works two days a week. That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? We're always moving around doing stuff. Like walk into the subway <laughs> yeah. and go into the elevator. Oh, and getting that key for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Valentine's Day. Yeah. So, yeah, back to my childhood. <laughs> 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 the only kid without a lollipop. <laughs> Did that really happen? No, to you? of course not. What do you mean? He was oh. probably a real go getter. I was like then. Don Rickles back then. <laughs> <laughs> or a tracksuit and stuff like that. The whole town Well, you seem it. sad about it, so I just didn't know. I didn't mean. I didn't mean for it to sound sad, but when I think about it, that's what I go back to. That's where, like, because like uh, I'm very nostalgia attached. Yeah. You know what I mean, for lack of a better word. So that's what I think of. Attached and, to the past. This sounds like something you could something, <laughs> something <laughs> to <laughs> bring up in therapy. Maybe you gotta, man, maybe got to. Maybe number. Maybe that's something to dissect with a license. You guys are not good you talk to about this. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Uh, uh, I'm standing outside of her office with a boombox <laughs> over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I want you back, baby. Smooth operator. Uh, I love that. Oh, great. my God. No, but the fun of it, you know, without relationships. Yeah. When it, when it was innocent, when it was simple, when you yeah. gave this, you gave that. Now, in the back of your head, yeah, you did feel like a bozo if so-and-so didn't, you didn't get that Valentine. Right. But it was more fun the night before, putting all the candy together, writing out the cards. Does anybody in your family pronounce it Valentine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the God. trashiest thing, Valentine's uh, Day. Uh, yeah, okay. Valentine's Day. rocks with that. <laughs> oh, boy. That's bad. I don't, uh, are you doing anything this year for Valentine's Day? Yeah, Spots. Oh, oh yeah, me too. Uh, what? Yeah. You're not going out with your beloved? I, I, my anniversary was two days ago. Oh. So we do. It was the seventh. Yeah. So we did. You do- purposely have it by Valentine's Day so you can right, do a so two just, for one. Yeah. Uh, but we, go, we, no. we go out and do stuff all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, you live together, but like, you know. Yeah, it's called a relationship, you you wacko. Step, we're always step doing it up together. Be on your toes, be a little bit more romantic, dress up a little. Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. And we've been doing that a lot more, to be honest with oh, you, good. Uh, which is really nice. That but yeah, I'm working. sure I'm sure we'll celebrate it. Not, you know, my, not that night, but like, you know, the next day. A cheaper night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that a thing? They don't start charging more on Valentine's Day. Yes, they do. They do. They do. This is they New York don't. City. Yeah. yeah you go to Gallagher's tonight, you get a steak for the same price you get enough. They don't jack up the price. You can't take your wife or your girlfriend to the place that me, you, and Toby go and get drunk I at. didn't say. I just used that as, man, I'm really getting it from all angles today. <laughs> I can't buy a break. <laughs> I'm using it as, as an example. I know, right, but, no, right. but things are inflated on yeah. Valentine's Day. Well, they, they do a prefix. They, they do a prefix. They only have to make one yeah. meal. They do a prefix. Yeah. Valentine's Day is just so you buy Hallmark cards. Like, it's all money anyway. But, you know, we, we disguise it as, like, let's celebrate love, which do you I'm sit, happy with. Do you According sit, to Gilmore Girls, there actually is a real historical, like, more meaningful uh, background to Valentine's Day, but I didn't look it up after I watched that episode. I thought it was, I thought it was about the Saint mob Valentine hit in Boston. Probably involved. What? St. Valentine's Day Massacre. I thought that it was named after. Uh, Well, no, no I think the massacre, the massacre, massacre came after, after the day. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. okay. There's a massacre? Yeah. Yeah, St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Yeah, big mob hit up in the North End. Oh, shit. Yeah. No oh, chocolate shit. net. Thought it was Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> no, no sweethearts on those streets. <laughs> Would you get upset if your uh, significant other was like, we're going to go out the 13th or the 15th? If there, there better yeah. be a real yeah. I, good it reason. better be because I'm yeah. busy. Okay. Yeah, but it's yeah, yes. it's because we're busy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not we him. have a show, yeah. which yeah. we usually do, honestly. So it's a big night, you know. It is for a big comedy, night for yeah. comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do we? Do you guys know what you're doing for that night? Yeah, well, I mean, we're promoting, promoting our, our special. special. There you go. So you're working. So you're gonna go yeah. out. 
on another time. But there's a two hour window but, before in which Dylan better fucking take me somewhere. Ooh. And I'm gonna be alone masturbating, so <laughs> get ready. I'm listening. Get ready, my friends. Now that gonna be a live stream thing or no. <laughs> I'm gonna duck to the can for a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean, big guy. <laughs> Catch a smoke. Oh, right, uh, that's straight. great. All what right. are you doing, Kev? I just said, uh, I mean, I'm working. Oh, you're working. I'm okay. working, but typically. Oh, yeah, and you're not celebrating because you just had your anniversary. We just did an anniversary. Why aren't you yelling at him the way you were yelling at me? I don't know. He got married, so. Yeah. Wow. Shit. Wait, you are engaged, though, right? No, I'm not engaged. Oh, I said fiance. Oh, I, like this. I guess just because <laughs> you were. Just because it's been so long, you know? Uh, so. <laughs> hey, you still came in with him. Oh, man, they did. Damn. I like it. <laughs> we don't fucks around, man. Come we've bearing been, gifts, we've been doing nine this for yards. a minute. I thought you were gonna fucking. You thought you were gonna make it all easy peasy with candy hearts. I will say, no, Foley I'm... has given me more, like, has given me more things and like little thoughtful gestures than most of boyfriends I've had. Like one time, I was at New York Comedy Club. Guys, and I, a sweetheart. And I just mentioned yeah, I wanted are. a diet coke, and he like went and brought me a diet coke, oh, and I, that was very, so very nice. nice of you. Now, granted, I was going to pick up my sandwich at the yeah. desk. <laughs> I was meeting my drug dealer on the corner. <laughs> Yeah, but you didn't have hey, to go and get it. Trip, trip's a trip. Yeah, you still got it. That was so very nice. nice. That's a good thing. He's going to be here in five minutes. I'll grab you one. <laughs> uh, oh uh, yeah, so I'm not doing any. And I don't think last year was our one year. We didn't do it because we went out. We went away for our uh, anniversary. So it's like, yeah, you know, yeah, it's just like it does, who, he just who did who a day spa. Yeah. You guys just did a day spa. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoy, you know, uh, you self-care, like you. Oh, you know, okay. uh, hitting the, the steam rooms, the saunas, yeah. the, the pools. It's over there in Jersey. I would check it out. Sojo, it's called. Oh, nice. Oh, it's like a bathhouse kind it, of thing? It's huge. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like this little piece of shit. It's <laughs> enormous. Wow. It's like I eight think, floors. I think my gay friends went there, yeah. Yeah, it's like you can see the city. There's like an infinity <gasps> pool. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You walk in, they take your shoes immediately. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. You like hand them your credit card and there's a guy undoing your shoes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Take, me to, <laughs> take me to dinner first. <laughs> Baby, they're robbing us. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, get in the car. Get in jail. Act and then you Fucking leave. Dirtbag. Yeah, <laughs> they were, they move quick over there. That's all I'm saying. What? Do you, how I'm do you guys sorry. feel? Sorry. How do you feel about the infinity pool? You brought it up. Is that is that an end goal? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. I mean, a place for an infinity pool. Yeah. Yeah. Kippy, cool. I'm always scared. I'm gonna break it. Like I'm gonna do you fall know what over an infinity the side. Pool is? It's in yeah, the it's where, it's where the water goes over it. Yeah. Okay. So and how but, you gonna break it? Because isn't it like usually like a thin wall on that side? I think it like, looks thin, but it's actually no, quite it's just like a concrete. false wall. It's just yeah. like the pool then really just ends. Oh, I'm talking about the ones layer. that have the glass where you can see people swimming in them. Oh, I wouldn't oh. trust you in one of those. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what I'm talking and about. And the poor people on the outside of that glass. <laughs> God damn. Just magnify you. I flood Fuck. the San Fernando Valley. <laughs> <laughs> you put out a forest fire, though, so it all worked out. <laughs> Oh my God! Kip, athletic greens. Athletic greens. Uh, no, I'm an I'm the athlete in the bunch. So uh -huh. I know all about athletic greens. I'm not just uh, they're not just a sponsor. I'm also a client. Yeah. Use it every day. Use it at the gym. Put the water. Shake it up. Drink it throughout my workout. Feel great. Feel smooth. The taste is fantastic. I love me athletic greens. He's a big AG one guy. That's right, guys. It's like a super multivitamin. It's got everything you need all in one stop shop. It Gut health, immunity. Cost less, All nine. cost less than $3 a day. If you're investing in your health, it's cheaper than your cold brew habit. Uh, if you're investing in all-in-one nutritional insurance, look at it that way. You're taking, you're checking everything, all the boxes there you go. with AG1. Uh, it's cheaper than getting all different supplements yourself. Uh, Athletic Greens has over 7,000 five-star reviews recommended by professional athletes, trusted by leading health, health, health experts. Kippy can't talk today. Right now... It's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with a convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into flu and cold season. Just one scoop of water, uh, just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills, supplements to look out for your health. Uh, take it easy. Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash garbage to take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Kip, let's talk about Bombas. Bombas. You know them. You love them, bomb, gang. Bomb, 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 Bombas bomb, mission bomb. is simple. Very simple. Yeah. Make the most comfortable clothing ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So when you buy Bumbas, you're also giving to someone in need. 
The clothes are absolutely comfortable. They're absolutely fantastic, and they're doing a great thing. Most number one requested thing that people ask for at homeless shelters is socks. Yes. And they're giving them away. Everything they make is soft, seamless, tagless, has a luxurious feel, and as a piece of trash I am, it's nice to have something feel a little luxurious. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Uh, there's a pair of Bomba socks for everything you do. They come in tons of options like comfy performance styles for every sport or activity that keeps you moving. The t-shirts are made of thoughtful designs, features, invisible seams, soft fabrics, uh, and the perfect weight so they hang just right. You know what I mean? So go to bombas.com slash garbage. You get 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash garbage for 20% off your first purchase. Bombas.com slash garbage. Do it. Do it. God. All right. Let's get into some cues. Yeah, guys. So, uh, as you know, when you join the Patreon, we will answer, answer your garbage question on the air. Nice. Um, so, let's see here. Um, this is from uh, No Conte for Old Yams. Oh, that's pretty good. Because <laughs> Jack funny. Conte and Sam Yam are the owners oh. of uh, Patreon, who we say oh. a prayer to every day. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should say one now. <laughs> you face Mecca. And you yeah. Go, Thank you. Uh, we face the Silicon Valley. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and pray towards. Uh, Eating an out burger. Um, <laughs> do you drive your car barefoot? Yep. No, wow. that's illegal. <laughs> it is. Hutch yeah, has to. it is illegal. In I New Jersey, H- at least. Not my Mustang. I can see Hutch doing that in the winter. Yeah, hundred percent. I bet- also forgot how to drive, though. Full disclosure. You don't drive anymore. I forgot. I, le- I moved to New Manhattan. Like, yeah. I moved to Manhattan when I was seventeen, well, you know, and then I just never to- was yeah. here anymore. It's true. Oh yeah, I'll give you that. So yeah. <laughs> you. Well, what do you do when you got to get back and forth to the store? Uh oh, I, t- I take I take Ubers everywhere. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't in the city, Toby. I'll tell you that. No. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> Going out of the city in a car, that's clear. Pinky's out. Ooh. <laughs> or a little dial seven, you know, mm, car service. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Carmel? Car One time service? I took a no, car service. It's better than my, Carmel, but yeah. From my brother's shit. in Pennsylvania. Really? Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. They're nice. They're You know why? Because they're, nice. they're nicer Girl's to my got dog. a little bit of screech. <laughs> Wait, you're not talking about Carrie Limousine, are you? No, not Carrie Limousine. No, there's like, because there's like Carmel, and then a step up from Carmel is dial seven. And the re- I use, like, I dial seven is nicer to animals. That's why I, t- I choose them. Are they always old Lincoln Town cars? Um, It can be, like, it's SUVs a lot. That's nice. I like to That's sleep what we were in cars, yeah. so I love like an SUV because I just get I I do a lot of sleeping so on transportation. Like a big man's hugging you. <laughs> yeah, love it. Hutch yeah. is driving with her knee. Yeah, <laughs> I feel Hutch is oh. Hutch is like oh, a couple I... weeks away from seeing her at a drag race. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be down there oh, revving well, her engine. Well, and now shit. I we had a listener uh, talk to me about drifting. They like drift like all the time. It's like their hobby uh, because I was in my Mustang. I didn't realize Mustangs are death traps in the snow. I saw this storyline. You were in the snow. Yeah, they're visiting horrible. my brother. I almost died twice. I almost ran right into a semi truck. Like it was, I've never felt unsafe in a car in my life. I love cars. I love driving. Uh, that fucking scared the shit out of me. You have to, to winterize a Mustang, you have to get separate tires, which makes sense. But you also have to put 300 pounds in the trunk because it's a two door coupe. Yeah. The, it's a rear wheel drive. Yeah. So you're all over so the place. So it's too powerful of a vehicle. Like you, I was, oh my God. Yeah. Did you Woo! do all that stuff? No, I didn't. I didn't have anything to weight it down. I was on the highway. No, I'm not- always free. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can get him a loose. Can I get a ride? <laughs> Let me look at my schedule. But I think I'm free Tuesday. <laughs> you can put it. But where, no. where you usually did therapy, you can get in her truck. <laughs> yeah, it's almost the same thing. Listen. <laughs> Um, no, have you done that stuff since then? Did you get the new tires? No, I'm just I'm not taking that car when it's snowing. I'm okay. not going to be driving it. Yeah. All right. You also have to be a very skilled driver, which is why I was thinking about drifting, because that's the way you maneuver the car. Like when you fishtail in rear wheel drive, you got to go with the car. You got to steer with the car. When you fishtail in uh, all wheel drive, you go against the car. But this isn't your four in the drifting. Now that you're talking to people about drifting. No, we're not yeah. going to catch over on the, the the northeast extension in the middle of the night. No, well, doing my brother Tokyo drifts. My we, brother, we're car people, so like he was trying to teach me. He goes, you're a trash skill, is a, what you a are. Hundred percent. All my my, we have a seventy six Trans Am. We got a sixty eight Camaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he said like a skilled driver could technically get home in your Mustang in the in the blizzard. I'm like, wow. Damn. Really? Yeah, if you're fucking you cold trickle or something you have like that. To, yeah, you have to really be like a fucking NASCAR yeah. motherfucker. So. I just drove. Oh, sorry, you were about what, to say that. What is drifting? <laughs> <laughs> Queen Elizabeth joined us, ladies and gentlemen. I literally don't know what you're talking what about. Is drifting? Woo! More champagne, oh. guys. <laughs> to me, drifting, drifting is like when a guy starts to get cold to you <laughs> and then answers your text messages. That's what Foley does when he doesn't want to be drifting away. Is what she thinks. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I've heard of Tokyo Drift. Like it's a, I know yeah, it's car related, can, but I don't. What do you mean? You can't do it in a doing suburban. wheelies, doing yeah, fishtails, like doing yeah, oh. rides around. Yeah, 
Are you supposed to do that? Uh, yeah, you I mean, can. You can. Yeah, if you got a dirt like bag from like, Pennsylvania. It's like, it's like a sport. It's like, a it's fun. like dra- drag racing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. It's, okay. It's very similar drag racing in terms of the vibe. They do this in Greece, guys. <laughs> Back on board. <laughs> Back on board. <laughs> I'll what be honest. Say? I'm surprised your car doesn't have more aftermarket effects. No. To be to be quite honest, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised it's got there's no flames not. on it and shit. <laughs> I, I figured you'd have. By I got two racing stripes. That's not bad. Yeah, that's of course bad. I do. That's really bad. Yeah, that, but what that color ca- is the that car? That held on. That R- came with charcoal the car. gray. Yeah, charcoal gray. Yeah, with the black. but I, yeah, well, it's charcoal gray with white racing stripes. Oh, I didn't even notice the racing. Stripes. Yeah, they're they're ombre almost. So oh. it's like yeah, yeah you guys. The car is beautiful. I used a girl term and a boy term together. <laughs> you guys loved Casey and Robbie's wedding like Night Rider. You fucking yeah. like, you blew by the after party doing like eighty. Talking the horn and disappeared. It's the only into time the I feel, pow- feel powerful. For I love it. Christina's like my boyfriend driving yeah. me around. It's yeah. Nice. Oh, I'll get us when we got a gig in like Baltimore I after the it. Saturday night show. I'm like, let's do this. We're gonna go home. It's so <laughs> Turn fun. the headlights off. No one will see you. <laughs> <laughs> Cops won't stop you. <laughs> the night vision. Pouring <laughs> rain. No wipers. Uh, uh, I, I just remember had that. to drive us home from Syracuse in a Damn, like, snowstorm. Oh, in a snowstorm. Yeah. Oh. The all, about four of the six hours we were oh, in a snowstorm. What? What and vehicle? I'm not good. We <laughs> rented an SUV. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because I have a Kia. So, I was yeah. going to uh, say motorcycle to sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> you really blew it. Uh, it was, and I played a pretty good. Like I'm confident. I'm like I got this. Yeah. But there was moments where I was just like, I want one of my guys. Do you want me to pull over? Yeah. Like, yeah. Because yeah. Well, that's I mean, yeah. There was like tractor trailers flying past. Yes. Us. I voted yes and was outvoted by everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that shit. <laughs> I don't like driving in the rain like that. Oh, yeah. We went to get our Christmas tree, and it was pouring rain, and we drove up fucking somewhere up there, coming home, dicey. An irrational yeah. fear. There's someone you could talk to about that, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Ooh. not an irrational it's fear. If only you could hire a professional. Somebody. You know? It's not an irrational fear. It's somebody. a rational fear. Oh Spiders. For, you're afraid of the rain? It's a pretty irrational. Afraid to drive in the rain. So's Enya. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So's Enya. Uh, what is she have a song about that? I, just feel, like, I feel like she does. <laughs> I was like the Wicked Witch that was of the West. Good. Nothing on that? That was great. I didn't get it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, we're being honest here. Um, all right, this is, from, this is from Bernie Sanders. Uh, when you're Sorry. moving out of an apartment, have you ever taken all the light bulbs with you? <laughs> 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 Which is I never thought about, but a dirt bag move. <laughs> that is a dirt bag. If move. you're undoing like the ceiling oh, fan light come fixture, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I don't take the blinds with. I did just move. For, really the, I was funny. in a place for 11 years. I left the blinds. I left shelves. I actually left furniture. They actually charged me for it. Um, but I left a lot of shit. Yeah, of course, yeah. always. Yeah. So I'll, I'll figure it out when I get there. Ice yeah. and all that old stuff feels so good when you get in a new spot. It's yeah, yeah. renewed. Yeah, I've n- I've never thought about taking the light bulbs, but like it is not a bad idea now that I think about oh it. I mean, it. What if it's like one of those really long, like the ones that are supposed to last for like ten years, the eco friendly ones? I would I, I would unscrew one of those. Okay, if, if, you, I'm, the if, you put in, in, yeah. if I'm the one who put it in, if I'm the one put it in, I had c- light bulbs that turned colors that I took with me, but that's, I bought them. that's yeah, that's that's a little different because I'm yeah. petty as but still shit, trashy. So yeah. well, I, I mean, were you shopping Hot Topic? Oh, What's happening yeah. here? I look like a neon Mustang with racing stripes. Yeah, I shop in Hot Topic. Teen-year-old boy. The apartment's all black light. (laughs) (laughs) Now, I see Corinne's point. If you just put them in, and they are those nice, new, expensive ones, but there's something about the idea of after you move out, your landlord coming in to show the new tenant, (laughs) and he flicks the light, and it's fucking completely dark. (laughs) You're a fucking scumbag. It's very how the Grinch stole Christmas. (laughs) No light for you. Yeah. Or if you just went to like some breakup or something like that, then I can get on board with that. I'd smash the light You want to do some petty moves. I'm oh, all I about love it. doing petty moves. The petty moves I'm always on board for, yes. <laughs> Super glue the keyholes. <laughs> <laughs> You're just giving me ideas now. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, that's you can't do that. That'll fuck a place up, no? You got to knock the door down. Of course, yeah. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, not yeah. your problem. Not your Fair problem. Enough. All right, hey, exactly. whatever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, all right, this one's from our boy Alex Tanello up in Boston. Is it garbage to lie about your anniversary on vacation to get free champagne and chocolates? Nah. That's a given. Do yeah. that. You yeah, do 100%. That? I've ne- I have never done it, but, it I, but fanfare. But the most fanfare. restaurants have caught on, like for birthday or whatever, they charge oh, you for the cake or whatever that they give you because too many people were doing Are that. Doing That's it. how like oh. accepted garbage that is. Wow. wow. Yeah. You can't you can't have Our a country of garbage. One of life's purest joys is having a fake birthday party on a night that's not your birthday party and getting a free piece of cake and getting like a whole thing. That's Wait, insane. I want to sing to you. That's insane. But they don't you can't. That's not the shirt talking. I can it's tell been you that years. right now. 
<laughs> that shirt's definitely rented, by the way. No, I yes, it, yes, it is. Hundred <laughs> percent. I've never. Jesus shamed. Christ, you're like fucking TMZ today. You blowing up everybody. <laughs> I don't mind. I tell everyone. I don't. Hey, I've never done it. Kippy's getting Kippy's getting real <laughs> gossipy. I like it. <laughs> I've never done it. I heard the fat <laughs> What are you, Joan Rivers? <laughs> I've never done it because I don't like attention, and like, except for when I decide I like attention. Um, but yeah, they, they for many many years they charge you for that cake, so it's just like so many people were doing it, so you can't do it anymore. Yeah. yeah. Will you do it on your birthday or no? Even if it is your birthday. No, I would. I, I oh my god, I I hate when people do shit like that. Uh, I have I have cringeworthy to me. It's just wait. Like, so you won't do the fake birthday, it, or it's you will? Too I I my I think my point is like I will I would never shame anyone for doing that. It's so it's fun, but I personally wouldn't want it done to me because I don't yes. want the whole restaurant singing to me. That's like ugh. Yeah, you That's don't the do worst that. thing. When I the whole like restaurant Hutch sings to you. What do, no, what do you I, I, I yearn for love 24-7. Yeah, yeah she's like, every day it's my everybody birthday. Everybody's yeah. singing to me. It's my birthday well, right my, now, guys. My birth, well, my birthday <laughs> is next Saturday, February 19th. It is soon. Don't you ever Happy forget birthday. it, world. Thank you. Happy birthday. Bro. Thanks. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think that's... I think the I more dignified... Then not even dignified, but the cooler move as you get older... You should do it real quiet. If they bring something over and light it, all right. But you don't want everybody singing. Yeah, the no, the singing's singing crazy. is awful. And 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 hustling some some all inclusive, and you say it's your anniversary, just for a little moet and some fucking dove chocolate. I guess. Oh, we, I guess when you're check, we doing? when you're checking in, that's all right. I think you're like, oh, it's, are you celebrating? Then you're like, oh, it's our anniversary, and they pour champagne free at like the front desk while you're getting your room or whatever. That's all yeah. right. I'm okay with that. They made me. I would mm. never do it because I'm a you know distinguished <laughs> gentleman, right? But I get it. Why they not? made You're me having fun. They made me a swan out of towels in Costa Rica <gasps> because I wrote like in the thing that it was my birthday and I appreciated that. That's I, what I'm saying. Yeah. That was you nice. Gotta do it in another country. You yeah, can't be you start- lying. <laughs> you can't be lying to Detroit. You know what I mean? Until you until you start getting desperate, then you're going into places like I got three weeks to live. What, <laughs> what can you do for me? <laughs> What's the mini bar situation? <laughs> That's really funny. Make wrong. sure the OJ's fresh squeezed. <laughs> <laughs> good, good question. Uh, Love you, Alex. Yes. Um, this is Alex. This is from Matthew. First time, long time. Uh, the acronyms FTLT, which is first time, long time. Then they do uh, FYOA, FYOAYK. Have you or anyone you know had an inflatable hot tub? Yeah. Yeah. No. Someone I know in Brooklyn has one. In Brooklyn? Yeah, I thought it was a great idea for the city. That's, That's all right. Awesome. The city, I'll give you. Yeah. Yours, I doubt, I knew one in, in Virginia. This- in Virginia. <laughs> Yikes. Where I would attend NASCAR races at the uh, Richmond tracks. It's the shortest track in all of NASCAR, three quarters of a mile. Yeah, they're doing a short track down there. <laughs> <laughs> they got the sprinters out. Yeah, yeah, they do it. You better about short five track. hours before you get that track. <laughs> I have a blow-up kiddie pool in my backyard, though, in Manhattan. That I I is that get mostly that. for the dog though? No, it's for me. It's heart. <laughs> it's heart shaped. Little toes. In. It's heart shaped. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> my dog ho- doesn't like water. Do you have a hose to fill it up? Uh, n- there's no water source in the back, so I got to do a bucket or like. I, I, oh okay, wait, wait, wait. God. Actually, you know what? Cut it, print it. That's oh. a wrap on. <laughs> like you're putting out a barn <laughs> fire. The what the fuck? Actually, Just like seven people <laughs> passing a bucket back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, the mill's burning. <laughs> what are you doing? That's, it's a, uh, it's a wooden bucket, it. too. I did something even worse, actually, oh, no. because it was the bucket thing did was so hard. Water? No, I tried to let rain, rainwater fill it up, and then I bought chlorine That's tabs trash. off of Amazon, oh, no. and I was like, I'll just chlorine clean the rainwater. That's water. trash. What the fuck? Yeah, you're making garbage. a chemical bomb. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the neighbors think you're making meth in the backyard. <laughs> no, you I can't just do that. I just want to just trying to clean my kids. That's no, a tough. Did you, you get into that? that? Did you say that? It it just didn't really work out, and then <laughs> and this summer, but next probably summer, dried out your skin terribly. No, nah, it's all right. I really? don't know. Why drying out your skin? I mean, I just you had to skim some mosquitoes out of it, but a <laughs> <laughs> couple of dead what, rats. Really? I don't wow. care about stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Ver- I, you got to be comfortable with vermin when you've lived in Manhattan for. I, I've lived here for I eighteen years. Them vermin. Yeah, that's I don't even call them weird. vermin either. <laughs> that's a little strange. Why? That's, that's what too that's comfortable with them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's what oh, that's just. Like you you know. There was a rat that was coming through my stove, and Whoa. I didn't want to kill him, so I trapped him in. I trapped him in a little um, harm-free trap, and I brought him to a garden. That's adorable. What? He's little too angel. sweet. I don't. I don't like killing animals. I found a baby rat in my old. I know, but room. listen, I don't like killing animals. He was either, sweet, but I, I don't mind it. There was no need. There was a simple a solution is a, is to it. A, but a, a rat, they could bite you. They could get at you. No, no, no. They're it, angry. No, no, no. He he caught or himself in the in the cruelty-free trap, <laughs> so he wasn't gonna bite me. He just got, it licked some peanut butter, it was closed, and then I let it out. It's easy. You don't have to touch them or go near them at all. 
Bam. You just pull that's the, the thing point. And they run yeah, out. that's the point of the cruelty free trap. I got gotcha. you. I, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> My wife tried to get us to do that. I still that probably took like... somebody's dad away, your mom away. You didn't think about that. What? Well, I mean, according to Ratatouille, they're all in the walls. Well, there. there was like three that I caught, so I let them all <gasps> out into the same garden. Yeah. This is the place you're in now? Yeah. God damn. I well, first floor, man. Yeah. Rats? Nah, it's first, it's first floor. Mice yeah, is one thing. Fish. Rats. Are rats so- are intelligent creatures, <laughs> but, you know, it's first what floor. What are you talking? Well, Your place has like rats? Snakes? What's we happening? Had an ex- I, yeah, I live on the first floor, and I have an outdoor space. There's this excess yeah, there's of a rat, rat of- problem, and yeah. I live downtown. Yeah. Everyone had rats. I had rats when I lived on the first floor. Yeah. Man. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, Man. I love the East Village so much. I thought these two girls were how we're put together. No, I love the East Village so much. It's worth the rats. There you know, special, successful podcast development deals. Yeah. Whole lot of hell up here. Though. You're killing yeah, it. Fun. I've had a you're, lot of experience. You're, you're fighting with rats on the side. We got the girls from Rats. We fucked. <laughs> rats. We fucked up. Mm. Uh, and you take you can't. There's no humane way. You take it to a park. It's just they're just going to infest the park. Yeah, they're already in the park. Now though. some kids getting bitten on a jungle gym. Well, how, how, yeah, when was the last time a fucking a kid? Rat? Yeah. I know a guy. Bit by a, a rat? guy? Yeah. Who probably was poking it or doing <laughs> something to deserve yeah, it? Yeah, he was doing something he shouldn't have been doing. It was yeah. a baby I rat. I don't like those squirrels. I want to go on record. I don't like those squirrels. Oh, uh, they're adorable. Wow. You're crazy. No way. I you're fed a raccoon with my hand in Costa Rica, oh, too. They're so cute. Oh, Costa Rica? Yeah, I can't. That's all right. If raccoons they're are Costa Rica. Yeah, remember the raccoons bro- uh, broke into my oh, that's into right. me and Dylan's video. suite and then we started and it ate that's all so of cute. my it ate all of my expensive mini bar food, but then I we invited it back basically by leaving a trail and then we started feeding it cookies with our hand. It was my favorite part of the Costa Rica trip. And then the raccoons I got videos. diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love animals. No, they have no Any legs. chance to get a raccoon broken your room yeah and ate my mini bar food and then you they started have, feeding it yeah, yeah because hands. Are, they have hands man you know, raccoons have fucking hands they can shoot guns you're and, crazy and, and, <laughs> and rats rats have hands like they rats have are gross hands. man i don't like any With of that this thick tail i just love they animals. got that tail's like an extension the tail is wild tail scary tail is wild yeah rats are just scary <laughs> and that's crazy with the raccoon you're nuts mm. jesus it was so sweet. It was a mommy raccoon, and then there are three babies. That takes you oh, down yeah. in the classy points. You know that, right? They went swimming in my in. The, we had okay, so the room had a. You got private, rats in your oven. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. We had a we had a, a private Rant a private pool out. for the room, but then raccoon. I let raccoons go swimming in it. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> uh, I picture myself like great. Pocahontas, like just talking to the creatures yeah. and like you know chatting with them. It's fun. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Relationships take work. Everybody knows that. Ain't no lie. A lot of us will drop anything at the drop of a hat to help somebody that they care about out. But will you do that for yourself? Probably not. No, probably not. This month, BetterHelp wants everybody to know that the most important relationship you have is with yourself. Okay? Whether it's hitting the gym, whether it's making time for a haircut, doing something for you. And going to therapy is a great thing. I just left my therapist, and I'm signing up for BetterHelp, baby. BetterHelp. Get to do it right in the comfort of your own home. Do it, baby. Love it. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see someone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp therapy online. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and AYG listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash garbage that's better help b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p dot com slash garbage do it yeah Kip, let's talk about ladder ladder life is fragile as we know you ain't lying you don't want to leave nothing to your family if god forbid the words happens and ladder can help yeah everybody gets scared off of term life insurance but ladder makes it quick they make it easy no doctor's visits no nothing mm-hmm. fantastic 100 percent. ladders 100 percent digital like you said no doctors no needles no paperwork when you apply for three million in coverage or less you just need a few minutes Mill. a phone a laptop to apply Ladder's smart algorithms work in real time look at that so you'll find out if you're instantly approved and you choose there you go uh if you prefer to talk to a person a team of licensed agents doesn't work on commission so they'll, they'll help you not upsell you there you go you know what i mean best way to do it no hidden fees canceled anytime get a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days ladder policies are issued by insurers with long proven histories of paying claims they're rated a and a plus by am's best not bad stick that in your pipe and bite down look you know at what that. i mean so go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved that's ladder l-a-d-d-e-r life.com slash garbage ladderlife.com slash garbage now back to the show back to the show 
I, I, I did that. That's why I spent my quarantine hanging out with pigeons. What? <laughs> yeah, we'll go down the river. Do? Uh, we like, uh, animals. We like <laughs> animals and birds. Pigeons. Oh, I don't yeah. like. I hate. No, hate birds. Pigeons are just doves birds. with. These gray two feathers. seem perfectly normal. No, pigeons are rats with wings. I don't know what happened. No, pigeons are really intelligent, and they're ancient forms of communication with carrier pigeons and stuff. They're incredibly intelligent creatures. Christina yeah, loves Kevin. Home Alone too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're getting now we're getting somewhere. I also found a twelve year old magician in Australia that was teaching how to get a dove to land on you, and I'm like, well, doves are doves are pigeons with gray feathers, so I can do that with. That's not b- no, but it works. Not Did you try to train work. a city pigeon to land on your shoulder? Yeah, I have videos of it. Uh, I <laughs> Toby's face. <laughs> what? I wore gloves. <laughs> I was the falconer. She's a falconer, yeah. Listen, we're animal lovers too. We love animals too, but this is this crazy behavior. This is screwballs. <laughs> We've brought this podcast to a screaching. Wow, mouth. yeah. I might yeah. have to go back to therapy Everyone's to tell her stuck. about this. We rendered them speechless. Always, that is impressive. I mean, I knew you were trashy, but like you, you do come off of the, with class. <laughs> well, that's a, that's nuts. a big mistake. You're, a bird You're both lady. very classy in a yeah. lot of regards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh I got a lot of sides. I'm an octagon. I know. Knock yeah. off the I Steve know. Irwin stuff. <laughs> with, so with city, funny. with with city pets. That's yeah, vermin. City That's pests. vermin. Vermin. <laughs> the pigeons would be considered vermin too, I believe, but not the squirrels. Pigeons are originally cliff birds. Like they would hang out on cliffs, and they were brought over to America. So they they kind of do. Where'd the they same come thing from? Now. Where do pigeons come from? Um, I want. Why do I want to say Africa? I want to say uh, they originated Africa. They're there, but they were in somewhere where there was a lot of cliffs. Because I remember, I remember reading about that when I was re- learning how to get them to land on me. And um, she it made, like a substitute it made a lot of that. sense that they are like dwell on these built on the buildings, the buildings, big buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. They Very got, smart. Like, do you ever? Then do you never see a cute one? They're always banged up. Like missing like a claw or they got warts on them <laughs> or something. Some of them are a little like, you know, <laughs> cross New York City, they're living in out. New York. It's not great. Yeah. At heart, they're cute. But yeah, they, circumstances have dictated no. that they're... They carry a lot of disease, but... Yeah. There you go. Other than that, they're I know guys who do that, too. Exactly. You guys... You know, Joe Schmo, you meet in the corner's got more STDs than he'll ever know. So it's like, you know, who's more dangerous? Had you guys have pet birds growing up at all? Yes. <laughs> yeah, my brother had one oh, that he accidentally go. killed because well, before we left for vacation, he had the food, and he but he forgot to open the cage and put the food in the cage, so he left the food right outside the cage, and we came home, and the bird was dead. Oh. He, he, tor- so he tortured him. that. Yeah, it tor- he, was ter- he was so upset. Damn. Yeah. Jeez. Parakeet. Or like the bar's a little bent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get his head the in. The food was right in front of the cage. Oh, he damn. forgot to put it in. I'm like, oh, dude, that sucks. Damn. Maybe not the best person to be keeping pigeons. I'll say that. <laughs> that was my brother. Rubs in the family. And then you had one? We had a finch named Rebo. Yes. Did he talk? Oh, finch. It's a, it was birds. a girl. No, no, no. no finch is a tiny talk. little bird. Oh, tiny sorry. little bird in a cage. It wasn't a Muppet. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Did he talk? <laughs> You guys should get a parrot. That's like a toucan or something like That's that. That's trash. No, there's no. You finches don't, don't talk. Yeah, finches don't talk. I don't know what the fuck a finch is. Finches okay. are gorgeous I birds. A tiny face. little bird with a red beak. He, he said that. Yeah, like they're really beautiful. <laughs> Did he talk? I don't fucking know. <laughs> kind of tricks he do. <laughs> Listen, I don't like birds at all. At all. Um, all right, this one's from Luigi F. Baby. <clears throat> do you ever choose the high C... As your fountain drink at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> Never. I've done it at the High Sea Orange at McDonald's because every Recently? Yeah. 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 Actually, recently when, because uh, I was on keto for our special and then I went like balls to the wall that night. I, I, I hadn't eaten meat in like oh, years. I got I was excited. I was like, is that keto? Because fucking sign me up it's for keto. It's certainly not keto. Oh, yeah. It's like the most sugar. sugar. I, I went crazy. I was eating Funyuns and Doritos mm, and Twizzlers. I like, like I, w- I went, I went oh, yeah. wild. You're trashy with your food taste. Yeah, my palate is yeah. trashy. What is a what is a balls to the wall order at McDonald's for Corinne Fisher? Um, Good question. For well, me. I mean, I don't I don't eat meat anymore, but for this one night I did. So I had. Keep like, in mind, you're talking to a convicted <laughs> felon over here. Sushi. Comics, okay. You do uh, like uh, like ideally, if you're eating all the things, you eat a two cheeseburger meal, large, obviously, and then uh, like a chicken sandwich and a and a order of nuggets and a, oh, and this is like okay, so this you is eat all this is chicken? trashy, but fi- wait, the two burgers and a chicken sandwich? I would normally. I would do one like non chicken nuggets and then one chicken nuggets. I've gotten a, I've gotten I've split a forty piece nugget with a friend. Like that's easy. Oh, yeah, that's no problem. That. Respectable. And then fillet of fish, which is probably the trashiest item on the menu, is arguably the best item. Yeah, people, it's fantastic. People don't eat it enough, but it's like so good. And that's like what I eat now because that I stopped eating. Um, I only eat fish now, so okay, it's so good. It was Andy Warhol's favorite sandwich. 
The fillet of fish. fish? <laughs> yes. He's, a, He's the one who convinced me to eat it. Reading a book about nice. him. <laughs> thought he called not, you one day. <laughs> not even joking. I, I was like, if it's good enough for Andy Warhol, it's good enough for me. But that and the pigeon facts. It was just <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know what you were going to get today, but boy, oh boy. <laughs> You hit us with that at the end of a statement, and it's always so authoritative. <laughs> what? Authoritative. They hit us with like a fact I at the know. end of it. I yeah. love party facts. <laughs> you don't like facts? No. <laughs> We're not a very fact, but it's more opinion, <laughs> more opinion based over here. To break it down even further real quick, just to step into the fat zone for a second. <laughs> McDonald's used to make their own orange drink. And then started pimping it out to, to IC to make it. Back in the day when we were kids. Oh, I didn't know that. That stuff was unbelievable. Wow. It's not as good as in the in the fountain now. You know what? That makes but sense I've done because it, it does it. taste different. Because when I was a yeah. child, it was my go-to because we weren't. I wasn't it was allowed to have caffeine. Drink. And they had it at breakfast too. So you get it all. You get it right around the clock. Yeah. It's good stuff. Oh, it is good stuff. It's a good drink. Anything with drink after it is like I love. Big, yeah. <laughs> Wawa orange drink well, used to be pretty tight yeah. back in the oh, day. Oh, I never yeah. tried that. I was always Wawa chocolate milk. Yeah. I'm pretty Ooh. good too. Mm, that Wawa chocolate milk. Shout out to Wawa. Boy. And their breakfast sandwich, bar none, hands down. Sizzly. One of the best breakfast we were, sandwiches. Yeah, we were just the talking about it. Greasiest croissant. And I didn't realize this. My brother pointed this out. Even like I always go to like those little heaters that they have on the counter. But you go, you go to the counter, <laughs> you go to the actual sandwich counter and they can pull one out for you at any time. Uh, I didn't fucking know that until a year ago. Either. And I'm like, I've been living my whole life as a lie. I like having the, the, the heat, little little heat lamp on it. Yeah. yeah. I like <laughs> yeah. it. One side's a little, a little bit harder. Yeah. yeah. A little yeah, bit crustier. Yeah. Well, I like it because it's like a rest stop. I love when you can touch your own food in a rest stop yeah. and like just take it off like There's everything. Grab it and go. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. They used to have that. They don't do that too much anymore. You'd be able to grab like the personal pizza or whatever at like a fucking. Definitely. Roy Rogers yeah. at rest stops still do it. And that's the only place that you can find a Roy Rogers these Is days. It's a rest stop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. I don't know who he pissed off or yeah. what happened. He was killing it. They and fucking then disappeared. They whacked him. Yeah. And they wow. were awesome. They, they were, were fucking legit awesome. Way better roast beef sandwich than Arby's. <gasps> wow. I think it's way better. Quality. 100%. I don't know if Thick ever burgers in the 80s. The Fixins Bar. Yeah, the Fixins Bar. Yes. Wow. That's where COVID started. Did you ever go to Hardee's? <laughs> huh? I don't Hardee's? Ever did Hardee's. <gasps> I've done that's a Hardee's. Is that West Coast or South? Carl's Jr. That's the South, I think. But it's like Hardee's and something else are linked up. Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. in the South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew something. Um, Why, are you a Hardy's guy? He doesn't have a mic. Why are you going to him, you fucking bozo? So I can get their reaction. It was very um, All right, this one's from Uncle, Uncle Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Perfect. That's really good. If you're paying the bill at a restaurant with a credit card and leaving a cash tip, do you put the cash in with the card or leave the cash after the check comes back? My mother puts the cash in with the card so the waiter has a chance to say thank you. Oh, Wow. <laughs> That guy needs to go to therapy. That's fucking nuts. I can't imagine that has not leaked onto his own childhood. That's got to be. That seems so tacky. When he, to me. when yeah, they, really when they funny. give the card for her to run it, the cash is in there. Yeah. The cash Guys. is for you. Put it. Put the meal on the card. Nothing wrong with that move. I disagree with. But that. if you're if you're just sitting there waiting for a thank you, that's the part that I'm like, Ugh. that's a little weird. But well, why? I mean, but they're got to come back with the card. I, the tip is always left. They give you the receipt. You leave the tip, and then you leave. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a big fan of wanting to, to for them to know. So, so I know, you'll you never do that. Like, and, and to say that thank you. It They're going to know, though. Who do they think left it? A ghost? I well, mean, you want to have go- that little moment of, hey, thank you, Mal. Thank you so much, well, man. Well, pisses Let me them off. know that you get it. You, I mean, you know they're doing it right. I guess if you're leaving like a really like during the holidays, if you do like a fun thing where you like tip a hundred dollars yeah. on like a fifty dollar bill or something like that, it's like uh, it's fun to like I get like see the joy. But if it's just a regular like standard twenty percent to you're out of your mind. Yeah, I never do twenty. Leave. It's always twenty five thirty. What? Okay. What? Yeah. Oh, good for you. You want to get that little thing? I'm sorry. I thought that was uh, that that was already established <laughs> that you're laying heavy. I'm sure the mom sounds like she's laying heavy too. I would assume you're not. Laying heavy, if you want to, and old school, it's not for you. That, old school them. people like to do that because then the cash tips don't get counted. Sure, yeah, but I'm not yeah. saying don't my mom does cash, that. But yeah, you don't give him the cash and say, "Here's your tip." Here you go, yeah, sonny. You leave it in the book and leave like a fucking gentleman or a lady, well, you, and you write cash on the receipt. Yeah, yes. of course. Yeah, yeah that's always, always. You know, make that make, make sure they can't write anything in there. What I don't like <laughs> you do. I was gonna say this for hard feelings. But this is a very <laughs> Patreon content heavy episode. <laughs> Uh, we were just at Dave and Buster's. Yes, we yes. my favorite place. Uh, it was after the Syracuse D&B. show. And what you do is like I'll because like we pay with a company card, right? So like I'll leave whatever, and then he goes and tips on his own as well. In addition to the tipping on the company card, but not in. So like he wants to like this is for a me type thing. Wow, which I find 
I'm Aww. like, you're 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 undercutting the table, which is like you're going, hey, they stink, but here you go. I it's believe so you, honey. I've no, never been out with no. anybody that's ever done that. Do you need and a hug? He's borrowed twenty dollars from me to give to them. That's, that's crazy. hilarious. That's Fully. That's, listen, listen. Just so he gets the. Hey, look. What's I'm going good. on here? It sounds like something that you could talk about in therapy. Yeah. This guy's a fucking rat. That's what's going on. Airing our personal business out in public. I don't know what the fuck this kid drank this morning. We're gonna have a fucking team meeting after this episode. <laughs> on Patreon.com. I'm going to HR after this. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at him, fatty. <laughs> I'll take your complaint. You have anything available at three o'clock today? <laughs> so funny. That uh, was two separate occasions on this you trip remember alone. Very well. And it is from the table. If like that that night yeah, at David, it's on the table. It stays. In, I'm tip. We're, we're tipping. I as think the, the so who's at the table? It's just you, Toby. You. Yeah. It was me, him, and So, because he's shaking C. his head, you're shaking your head. Obviously, the two people you're with are offended by this move. you offended by it? It's from all of us. No. It's like, here you go. That's no. the, tip the tip on the tip card. The card is from, from all of us. You you're gave going, an additional tip. I want to make this from me personally. It wasn't under his <laughs> yeah. You might as well say, you might as well say. Fucking you, rats. You They're all rats the in here. But wait. Holy man, I've never loved Toby more. Since, wait. <laughs> since you Foley, kissed that microphone goodbye. Since Foley fired his therapist, let's just get into it now. What are you, what, what does that do for you? <sighs> are we Welcome do to the show, big man. Are we going to do sports or something? Yeah, it's just a question. <laughs> so he's going to start one of those Instagrams where he just like you? films himself giving money to homeless yeah. people. Look how great no. I am. <laughs> Look how awesome I am. All the, Don't all be. The, the table left the Immediately ask her it back. <laughs> hey, buddy, that's showbiz. Give me that. <laughs> First of all, fuck you guys. <laughs> Second of all. It is from the table. It's just another nice little. Je- Listen, I, I got what you about the, for you? What's, moving what's the forward. I will. I will put it in the envelope. But I want to know what no, the motivation you do is. You. Huh? When you when you did it those two times, what was your motivation, Troy? Like, what was in your heart? I uh, thank you for the for the fair and honest question. I appreciate it. You answer. Senator? <laughs> he's thinking of a lie. Senator, well, yeah, of course he is. <laughs> Excuse me. I was he's, no, he's he's not my thinking of a lie. My throat was parched. I apologize. He's choosing what lie to tell you. He's got seven of them. You, you ready. know that. You know that is a move, right? When somebody has to take a drink before they answer a question, it means they're trying to think of something else that's not the truth. Yeah, that's why I did it. <laughs> Do I know? Just wanted to make sure. I'm running out of the playbook here. What are you talking? About? <laughs> he's he's got the manual. What I wanted to say is, let's go backwards chronologically. The Dave and Buster's situation. We were in the middle of a snowstorm. They. they they took us late. She was very, very nice. Aww. Um, and I just wanted to give her something extra for that. That's all. And That's the night, be- the night before, okay, at Maggie McFly's, shout out two of them. There's a thousand of them in Northeast New York. Um, there was the same situation. I had gotten there late, and she was really nice, and I, and I just gave her a twenty. I agree how it looks to put it under the glass. But if oh, you're handing it to her directly. Yes, I agree. If why? Just, but why? But I, 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 I think, I think in Maggie here. McFly's, I, I did put it in the check. Or it was discussed to put it in the check. And you said no. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of well, fact, like, I, I don't understand. That. You're the only person I've ever gone out with that uh, goes, right. I'm tipping individually. Okay, well, here's somebody who doesn't need therapy. I see what I did. I completely understand. And I'll continue to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tip her more, you bald fuck. <laughs> yeah, get petty with it. Fuck it. No, I will, I, will, I will amend that behavior in the future the next time it happens. And I look forward to Neither the time. You believe that? I look forward, I just, I look forward to the time to. where I can prove that to you. Whenever that said time may be. <laughs> but I just and I mean that sincerely. Okay, so if it's a company card, that means it's shared finances. Why didn't you just say, like, hey, it's a snowstorm. I think we should tip a little more than we usually do. And he would. I, I tipped her, I think, probably 30, 35%. I don't know. I got, like, fucking nine IPAs in me. Feels, I'm trying to flex a little it bit. Feels, <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? It feels good to tip, especially yeah. in, in circumstances such as I that. I waited tables for a super, super long time. Uh, you yeah. know, okay. over-tipping yeah. is super, super duper, is relax. really, really fun. That's yeah, not, it is. It's fun and it's enjoyable. We're not fighting you on that. Lovely. I'm not fighting you on the over-tipping. I'm, yeah. fighting you, I'm, I'm just fighting, fighting you on putting it line. under your glass. Well, uh, yeah, I'm still a narcissist at the end of the day. Fair, fair. Okay, that's a fair response. Very self-aware response. I want her to know it's for me. Okay. Not these other three losers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know the guy who's actually running the show? This is not from him. <laughs> I remember that when you're when it's time to cut your paycheck. 
Um, <laughs> Just imagine you sitting at a desk stamping. Yeah. <laughs> your, your, your check comes along. I'm like, <laughs> complaining about every check he writes out. <laughs> really funny. Uh, this one's some a of our employees an awful lot of money. <laughs> uh, this one's a home run. This is from Tool. Uh, haven't had one read yet. When you are done vacuuming, do you walk over and unplug it or just yank it out of the wall? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a you know what? You know what? I'm gonna yeah. do one. I'm gonna do you one further. I press the button that retracts the cord, and, and that yanks. It yeah. Nice. And let me tell you something. And then it whips me in the. Remember face. when they hit That'll back in the, the day? Yeah. yeah. Remember when the fucking when the retracting cord hit? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. You felt like Indiana Jones. Oh, that was like a bullwhip. <laughs> Goodbye knots. Goodbye tangles. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, Always yank. I yank everything. What kind of vacuums you working with? Well, right, now, right now we got Dyson. Dyson. So, that, that, Dyson. No Fish, what about you? I don't know. Christina bought it for me. I can't remember what it is. It's probably Dyson. It was a, it was a I gift. Think, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't think it's a Dyson. I don't, I don't it think a, it, it was an upright, though, right? It was, uh, it's like wow. a. That Dyson's an all right machine. It's a Ooh. small, yeah, like it's small a and it has a wheel. It's not a Dyson, but it's nice. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I keep, I tweet, I tweet them like every day, like, you guys should make a vibrator. <laughs> I have your hair dryer. I have your hair dryer. I have your hair dryer. I have your air humidifier and I have your vacuum. One. Would they be able to get away with that, or would they be, would they get in trouble for something like that? Hitachi makes a magic wand. Come there on. you go. Oh, you never know. People start breaking breaking their balls about it. Uh, that mm-hmm. is a fantastic guy, idea because it is a really good company, man. I want to see that guy who does the Dyson as like the you know like the, the man. That's the like man. Mr. Dyson. Mr. Dyson. Yeah. I want to see him talk about a vibrator. He's kind of hot. Yeah. yeah. He's like. Well, well, I want to see him talk about a vibrator. Well. Ooh, yeah. He's like Swedish or something. He could yeah. sell That's the guy that owns the company. He could sell yeah, a vibrator. Dyson. He just called him Mr. Dyson. Oh, okay. Yeah. I want to okay. get one of those hand dryers in my <gasps> house. That's like that's one of my goals. The air you know what I do sometimes? We're just talking about the this. air. I'm blade. washing my hand, and it's the one that's like just like one funnel down. The you accelerator. Can make fart so- you can make yeah. fart noises yeah, yeah, with your yeah, hands. Yeah. So really I'm nice. a big hand dryer kind of guy. Love yeah. and I hate the dryer. ones that are on the sink. Yes. Yeah. yeah like a rest stop or yeah. something. I don't what? Mean, what? On the sink. Or the ones They're that are just like like. They're at like rest stops. I really. never even saw that. It just it's like a fucking tube that comes out and you keep your hand at the sink and water just blows. It's oh it's the stupidest thing I've ever that seen. Since you're confessing, Sounds I'm like done. You walk into the janitor's closet, you walk into like a long <laughs> room. Hold on, unless I'm pooping in there, I'm done washing my hands with those things. I walk out and just fucking use hand sanitizer. Ooh, trash. I do the Is same it? thing. Well, if I'm it's really dirty, any, yes. A, a, a New Jersey They're all like really Panther dirty. They're disgusting. Gross. Yeah. I sanitize, sanitize up. Sanitize. One you time do, at a porta potty, I saw pumps. like a human f- piece of poop just sitting like on the <laughs> on the edge. <laughs> And like I, I couldn't even wear those jeans that I wore in that porta potty again because I was so oh. scarred by that experience. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's Wait, you true. saw the poop before you sat down or after you sat down? No, no, no. I, number one, I who the fuck is sitting down in a porta potty before you went? Oh. Yeah. I, no, I saw it, but I had to pee, like it was an emergency. Like I had to get the pee out of my body. And you we were outside. driving, and like this was the only place for miles. Like I had to do it. I was going to have like a medical. Problem. There was only one toilet there. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then also once you see the, the poop, you've already been traumatized, so might as well release the pee. Like, <laughs> like true. You're right. Oh, true. When that I could be merch. see that could be merch. like something, <laughs> when I see a gruesome scene uh, in a toilet situation, that is like ingrained in my memory yep. for months to come. I know. I have trouble eating because Wait, I that think about me, it. Because you can watch fuck up to fucked up videos online and it doesn't stay with you. That's not true. An ISIS video, I couldn't eat. I, I like almost couldn't eat for two weeks when I saw a guy getting burned. Oh, alive. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah let's try bad. that. That's pretty bad. <laughs> 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 That's fucked up. T bone, pull one up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I will fall out the window. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, all right, let's do a few more here. Um, this is from Itchy. Uh, I Itchy mean, our fans are Boncos. Do you have any empty shampoo bottles currently in your shower? Hell yes. no, I'm a woman. Yes. Oh. Hell no, I'm me. I'm is bad it all with, cluttered? I'm bad with that, yeah. Really? Uh, well, or I'll, spotless. I'll really? leave like a little bit left, and then I'll be like, well, I'll use it one day, but then I move on to the new shampoo, and then I never end up using it. Yeah, mm. I've moved Corinne a couple times, and there's a lot of bottles that are like almost Love done. We, she doesn't like wasting things. I waste things. I'm a big waster. Yeah, I waste. Yeah. I waste paper oh, towels. Yeah. I'll, I'll waste paper towels in that I'll toast waffles, and then put the butter, and I'll wrap it in paper towels to get that butter to just like I want it. Ooh, but what really? a waste of paper towels. It keeps the heat in. Sounds yeah, like a chef. Like, <laughs> oh, I've never even heard <laughs> of that. In fact, it is, Grin. Ego <laughs> Express. <laughs> mm. That's Ego's pretty good. good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Do, do you ever put water if you're like already low and you put some oh, yeah. water in there yes. to, to mix it up? I that's put, all right. But put, if you leave it in water. there and <laughs> use it the next what do you day, put? it's filled with cold water. Uh-oh. I was going to say, I put milk in <gasps> salad dressing to get a little bit extra done. No, that's what you do. That's. 
there's already dairy in the salad dressing, Christina. What are you what? talking about? Ranch dressing. Ranch dressing is, ranch yes. dressing if you is wanna, a dairy. If product. you want to spice up a little ranch, yes. get, get a little legs out Where of it. Where do you think the creaminess of a creamy dressing is coming from? Powder. Love. <laughs> Powder <laughs> like, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's Dutch. I'm not putting milk in like an Italian dressing, but if it's like an already cream, like a Caesar or a ranch, you put a little milk I in there, shake the it shampoo. up. thought you meant the shampoo. That's what I thought. No. I, at first, before she finished her sentence, I'm like, this girl's putting milk Which in Which probably shampoo. wouldn't no, be that crazy. No, 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 no. Probably no, no, all right. No, 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 no. <laughs> but we've talked about this, but if you forget that you put water in the shampoo and the then leave it morning, there, and then fucking you hit yourself with it. It's freezing cold. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> fucking horrible. It's like That's getting true. bear spray in the face. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> That's true. Not a fun time. Um, all right, this is from Preston. Uh, did you ever wear a Von Dutch trucker hat? No. No. Yeah, me either. They were... You. Very 2000s. <laughs> yeah, very Britney Spears getting into Paris Hilton's car. Yeah. Well, I realized our ages, and then I realized you were could have been trying to be cool at that age. I, I was. I liked them. I didn't know where to find them. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get my hands on them. I tried to get my hands on one. That and Ed Hardy t-shirt, yeah. Wow. Just, I had an Ed Hardy t-shirt. It didn't wow. look right on me. My, my, my titties did just stuck out. Did you have an affliction out. t-shirt? Huh? That was Affliction. No. Was that the other brand that you was like at Hardy? Uh, I might have had one of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a Von yeah. Dutch hat was expensive, though. I couldn't afford one so at that time. Offs. That's what put them out. Oh, There's yeah. There's a pretty good documentary on Hulu or something. On Von Dutch hats? Yeah, about, yeah it was a, it's a wild story. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> Gotta get this kid out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good movie on pencils. Like that. <laughs> uh, all right, this is from BKXC. Uh, this is this Sounds is written like a from a male's perspective, but we'll switch it. Have you ever been on your boyfriend's shoulders at a, at a concert and flashed the crowd? No, no, but I go out on my balcony every night naked, so it's similar. What? Yeah, I've seen those Instagram pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Truth be told, that so hard. <laughs> That's How far crazy. away is the next building now? Why is that crazy? I don't. I mean, uh, from my perspective, there's no one around the build. Like it's just, not. Ju- just from- I, I shower in my jeans. You're crazy what? to think I'd be going outside naked on a balcony. That sounds like a no. therapy issue. Yeah, yeah. No, I performed stand up naked at the Creek in the Cave. Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm just saying it from par- from a parental standpoint. You don't want yeah. people. I don't want people gawking at her. That's all. From a right? parental no standpoint, that, thanks, I was telling Dad. her. You're welcome. <laughs> But yes, of course. Well, liberation. there's a lot of new oh construction in my area, so the only building tall enough is there's no residents in it yet. Well, that's cool. But I will continue to go out on the balcony naked when there are residents in. What because is it? Just like a. It's a freedom it's cold, thing. I get it's it. Freedom, it's a vacation type thing. When, what other opportunity does one have to be outside naked? I respect in, 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 the flex. In a way that's I, I a little respect protective. the ability to do it. I'm on the 26th floor. Ain't nobody stopping me. Yeah, no, I go in my, my backyard naked. Definitely. What? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? It's That's just more nature. laziness if I Why sleep naked I? and I let the dog out. It's not like yeah, a hot it's just, thing. Let's do experience stuff naked. It's I fun. wouldn't do it in case people are eating, but that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's considerate. Personally. Yeah, that's all. Uh, Being naked's the best. Yeah. Being I'm naked getting more, is the um, best. Nobody's against it. naked. Like I said, it was just from a parental. I don't know how close to buildings. You're are. not a dad. I'm aware of that. I was it was the spur of the moment. That, where's that goddamn therapist? <laughs> <laughs> Taking heat for being nice. Uh, no, Welcome yeah, I mean that is, yeah, that's not. There's nothing wrong with it, but that is a shocking thing to do. I mean, I don't I think just everybody's done so doing many that. more shocking things, and I'm like, yeah. It's like a thing that people say is shocking that actually isn't shocking, I think, is what I would categorize it under. Okay. Did you ever drive topless? There was a girl in my high school that would drive topless. (laughs) It was pretty cool. She needed therapy. Pull pull up in a Wawa with that going on. That was all right. That's like Lady Gaga energy. Did you see the Lady Gaga doc where she just takes her shirt off mid-conversation? It's one of my favorite things. You know, you can legally, women can legally walk around topless in New York City. You can actually walk around completely naked. And I remember when I was was a receptionist at CORE, this real estate company, it was on the ground level and it was all glass so I could see everything. Everything. There, this girl would like walk by completely naked. I'm Good like, for wow. her. Wow. Damn. Okay. Good for her. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Was she hot? She was hot. Really? Because yeah. it's usually not the hot ones who no. take a stand. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're right. Hundred <laughs> yeah. percent right. The nudist colonies never have the people you want to see yeah, nude. I don't no, get and that. no, you just worry you don't want somebody to grab her or something like that. Oh, that's sweet. That's all. Okay. But I think that's kind of probably. Well, I bet you look at me like I'm with a guy who's going to grab her. <laughs> like, I don't want anybody grabbing her. Hey, you, know, me you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think that's kind of part <laughs> of the point. I was home of all it, day. <laughs> <laughs> the unbuttoned flannel doesn't help either. I love unbuttoned flannel. Good. <laughs> ah. 
I think I'm scoring points with Fisher. Um, right, let's do one more. <laughs> so my dad and then used we got to gotta get out of here. <laughs> What'd you say? So this is how my dad used to dress. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> he was uh, he was uh, cremated in an uh, unbuttoned flannel. Hell yeah, really? <laughs> All right. The really? Flannel, That's wait, awesome. The flannel was cremated as well? Yeah, everything's yeah. coming Aww. up. Yeah, they don't make you, they don't get you Christina balcony ready and then put you in. <laughs> <laughs> wait, why would they cremate you with clothes on? I, it, I assume that you got cremated like, naked. It's more like, yeah, right? The cadaver. No, yeah. you're not. It's more. It's more like human. Oh, huh. you're th- there. You actually purchase a whole box that gets cremated. It's the whole box that burns with the body oh. and the, clothes, the whole thing, the whole shebang. You know. Oh, yeah. really? Mm-hmm. I wow. put my GI Joes in there. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we we took a lot of the yeah, stuff out that we car. put with him. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. No, you you. It's it's a whole. It's a special box that is meant to be cremated, and the whole thing goes in together. Yeah. Aww. Okay. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. I like it. Um. Sorry, uh, I know we can't talk about death on this podcast. It obviously ther- therapy isn't working here. Whoa. No, I was I was thinking <laughs> guys, we're all gonna so die. I, I, up real quick. I think I, th- I think I still would want to choose to be naked. I would want to be naked in that. The more the most That's natural. When you want to be naked? Because then you're giving the someone cream. an extra job because they had to dress you for the wake and then undress you again. Yeah, they had who's going to gonna clean up the pee? Yeah, they had to turn you over, <laughs> pants up. I want to go naked or be planted in a tree like people are starting to do now. They put huh? you in a little pod. And you become the tree. You can become what? fireworks, which was my what? vote. What? That was my fucking That's vote, which is was cool. complete Holy garbage. Shit. That, that is, is garbage. So trash. That was so my awful. vote. That's yeah. amazing. My vote was fireworks. I could still do it. I have. We all, you know, we divvied up the ashes, so I could have. I could do fireworks oh, with mine. The Fourth of July, big man. <laughs> <laughs> I take out Baltimore. <laughs> the sum of all fears. <laughs> All right, this one's from Zane. Uh, never had a question read. Anyone in your family born outside of a hospital? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I was born in the backyard. <laughs> That's, I don't think anybody would We were all hospital. Uh, yeah, babies. no one in my family was. Born. Can't think of anyone, yeah. Uh, no. What am, I, what am I, fucking Leonard Skinner? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was born in a hospital. That's really funny. <laughs> I think bathtubs are becoming pretty big. Yeah, well, I was going to say Oh, home yeah, birth. of course, of course, of course, of course yeah. you could do that. Home birth. Uh, I, I thought for sure you meant that it wasn't meant to happen wherever it was. Yeah, I mean, no, way. for sure. That's. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it was it's meant back to happen of a in the backyard. Like a high school <laughs> basketball game or something? Yeah, or, yeah walking through a Coles. <laughs> My water broke! <laughs> That's a Burlington funny. Go Factory uh, first. Oh, man. If you're born in a Burlington oh, Go Factory, man. you're, you're set up for doom. You're fucked. You're not going to do well, well in the SATs. Might as well be born addicted to crack. Oh, uh, that's great. <laughs> All right, gang. Guys, thank you so what much for coming time. and sitting with us. Thank you so much. The this special's is out right now. Yes. We On love YouTube, you to death. Yes. You, you guys are amazing. What do you want the folks out there to know? Our special day, youtube.com slash guys we fucked without the you and fuck. Check out guys we fucked on the Luminary app uh, or wherever you get uh, podcasts. Uh, yeah, it's wide release now, so you don't have to yeah. pay. C- complete garbage. Check it out. Uh, <laughs> social media, guys we fucked without the you and fucked. I'm at Christina Hutch. And I'm at Philanthropy Gal. And that's you guys it. are the have best. We love day. you to death. Thank you Get so much. Sick. What do you got for him? Uh, at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. Check out our tour. We're on the road all over the place. And patreon.com. Check it out. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace. Yeah.